Hi guys! Kamusta kayong lahat? Ayan. So, kagigising ko lang guys. Naisipan ko lang i-video yung sarili ko para ma-share ko sa inyo yung experience namin dito sa Canada. How uh, organized yung aming um, yung aming vaccination process dito and um, gusto ko lang din i-share sa inyo yung side effects, yung mga aftercare um, after the vaccinations ayan guys so I had my first vaccine last May and um, dito guys um, how we do it here is you have to register online tapos bibigyan nila kayo ng registration number by through your email or text and then you will receive um, the confirmation after you registered you will receive a message once you uh, can schedule your vaccination so i had my first vaccination last may um, and, um i was so impressed kasi napaka organized talaga nila dito so i think I, as far as i remember that's 4 30 pm um i was there like 15 minutes before that uh, my appointment and um, in less than 30 minutes, guys, tapos na agad. Mahaba yung pila, pero napakabilis lang. Um, after, before the vaccination, so, um, i-brief muna kami nung mga nurse na, na mag-vaccine sa amin kung um, ano yung possible na maging side effects, kung ano yung pwede namin expect after nga. Tapos, after kaming ma-vaccine, um, they asked, to us to stay ng, around, ng mga 15 minutes para uh, ma-sure nila na hindi kami uh, makakaramdam ng pagkahilo, um, ng shortness of breathness. Kaya, um, in less than 30 minutes talaga, guys, tapos na agad. Ayun, so, um, I'm so pity nga sa mga uh, family ko and friends na nasa Pilipinas. Sabi nila, 4 a.m. pipila sila, tapos makakuha sila ng slot, mga lunch time na. So, ganun talaga kahirap, ba? Pero dito, guys, sobrang impress ako, sobrang thankful ako talaga. And then yesterday, guys, so I had my second vaccine. Um, after nung second vaccine ko, um, actually, nung first vaccine ko, uh, pareho lang nang naramdaman ko ngayong second vaccine ko. Kasi nilagnat talaga ako. Um, I got a headache. Tapos, ang katawan ko talaga mainit siya, guys. Uh, syempre, masakit siya. Swollen pa siya. Kaya, pag nababangga, medyo masakit. But, I don't mind, guys. Kasi, I know that's part of the side effect na daw ng uh, vaccines. So, I'm glad I had a Pfizer nung first ko and second ko. So, ito yung first na binigay nila sa akin nung first vaccine ko, yung card. Um, it includes my birthday, my full name, kung anong product name, which is the Pfizer nga. E tapos nakalimutan ko siya yesterday, so binigyan nila ulit ako neto. So, sinulat lang nila yung first at second. So, I can always carry this. But, you don't have to worry guys, kung halimbawa mawala ko man ito ulit. <laughs> yeah, I can download it uh, sa health, ano ba yun? healthgateway.gov.bc.ca So, I can download yung result, ay not result, yung, I can download yung documentation, yung uh, proof na na-vaccinated na ako ng, uh, ng uh, twice that I completed the, uh, this uh, first and second dose. So, I can um, uh, download it online. So, pag umuwi ako ng Pilipinas, yun lang din ang papakita akong certificate. Proven na uh, fully completed, vaccinated na ako. Ayan. So, yun nga. Same thing. Second vaccine ko is um, less than 30 minutes. Same thing. Uh, Nagka-fever ako. Med medyo masakit ang ulo ko ngayon. Uh, pero yung pinaka nagamdaman ko is yung mainit talaga yung katawan ko, guys. Um, so far, wala naman akong shortness of, shortness of breath. Wala naman akong uh, nausea feeling or dizziness. So, I always uh, make sure na meron akong Tylenol. Kaya, every 4 hours, umiin talaga ako nito. So, sabi naman, wala naman siyang side effects. Tapos, you have to dump cold um, clothes para malesen yung swollen niya. And, um, I think um, I made the right decision to get vaccinated. Um, I feel I'm protected. Although, syempre, ingat pa rin tayo. Um, especially, we are, like, we are slowly getting back to normal. The, the, the masks here are not mandatory anymore. We can gather outside. We can gather in, uh, into the dining. And, um, kasi before, na-stop yung indoor dining nga. Um, 
sa patio lang yung mga restaurants tapos um, nilift na rin nila yung um, gathering for a maximum of 10 people if I'm not mistaken tapos um, yeah kung makikita nyo yung um, sa downtown area namin sobrang dami na rin ng tao ulit tourists are coming back they also gonna open um, the border for Americans they can visit us in here so that's gonna be starting August 9 so I hope, I hope guys, na mawala na talaga tong pandemic para mawala na yung mga fear natin. At saka, let's keep on praying guys na talagang tama na, enough na, ba? Para wala na ulit sa sunod na vaccine. <laughs> Ayan. Which is very thankful naman tayo dahil meron tayong vaccine. Na less na rin yung COVID cases dito sa amin. Uh, hopefully, wala, mang, wala namang ibang mga Delta variant na pumasok dito sa bansa. And um, I hope makauwi na tayo ng Pilipinas. <laughs> Ayan. Ayun lang guys. Um, share ko lang aking experience. And I hope nag-enjoy kayo sa aking content. Um, gusto ko lang i-share. Ayan. So, medyo uh, mabigat pa ang pakiramdam ko. Kaya I'm gonna prepare to go to bed early. And I, I'm pretty sure uh, tomorrow or maybe next day I'll get better. Kaya... Thumbs up guys and congratulations sa inyong lahat na nagpa-vaccine. And to, to those na hindi nagpa-vaccine, um, that's fine. Um, you have your rights. Um, I hope you stay well and let's really keep on praying na talaga mawala na yung vaccine. Kasi guys, sa ibang tao, may side effects kasi talaga. Tapos, um, ano pa ba? Katulad ng sister ko, hindi siya nagpa-vaccine kasi meron siyang allergies sa mga medicine so natatakot siya so I respect talaga yon and some other people nagsasabi na um, this vaccine nga is mag merong side effects talaga after months, after years hopefully not, diba? basta, let's keep on praying guys and uh, para ma-enjoy na ulit natin ang kanya-kanya ating buhay <laughs> ayan, so please keep safe guys and ayun uh, let's always pray bye